So now let's talk about Laptop Cop. And this is what you would use whenever you have a situation with a stolen laptop. So let's say you get a phone call from an employee who says, hey, I was on the subway, I turned around and my laptop was gone. Uh, first thing you might want to do is you'd log into the user interface, you'd click the geolocate button, and what this will do is this will show you exactly where the computer is in real time. It'll plot it on a map for you. And what it's doing is it's actually using the Wi-Fi hotspots. It's pinging the Wi-Fi hotspots that are nearby. It doesn't have to actually connect to them. It can use all secure ones. And what it's doing is it's basically triangulating its position based on the relative strength of each signal. So it'll know, okay, this one's pretty close. This signal's kind of further away, weaker. Uh, and then it'll plot it on a map, usually accurate to within about 60 feet. And as you can see here, um, it'll also store the historical data so that you can see where the laptop started. In this case, it started in Los Angeles. Um, if we click on that, you can actually see uh, a zoom in of, of where it started. Then um, if you click the second location, you see that it went to Colorado. Um, and then the final location, which is its current location, that's actually pulsing because that's just to represent that that's where the laptop is currently. And you can see that it's now in New York. So. Um, what's nice about this is that unlike GPS, which requires line of sight to a satellite to work effectively, uh, this works really well. If someone goes into a building, uh, it works fantastically well because there's usually a lot of Wi-Fi hotspots around. And then it'll actually plot out on a map so that you have an idea of, you know, if you lost the laptop in New York and it's still in New York, uh, depending on where it is, you could get information. For example, if it's checking in from your hotel room, well, probably you didn't uh, actually lose the laptop. It was probably still sitting in your hotel room. Whereas if it's halfway across the country, it's a pretty good bet that the laptop is stolen. Sometimes we've had issues where an employee reports a laptop stolen. The employer logs in and quickly sees that it's still checking in from the employee's house. So it's not really a case of theft. It's just a case of an employee wanted to keep the laptop. The problem is a lot of times there's some really important data on these laptops. And one of the most important things that you might want to be able to do with Laptop Cop is actually delete files. So you can remotely retrieve and delete files right from the laptop, uh, even as the thief is using it. All we would do as soon as we recognize that the laptop is stolen, we'd uh, log in here. We'd click uh, Delete and then we would make a file deletion request. And these requests will actually sit out on the internet. And the minute the laptop gets a stole, uh, the stolen laptop gets an internet connection, those uh, file deletion requests will go live. So we can add a new one. We can delete either by file type, for example, kill all PDFs, or we can do it hierarchically, kill Excel spreadsheets first, Word documents second, PDFs third, or we can delete a specific file or a specific folder, like my documents, for example. We can do the same exact thing with retrieval requests. We can pull any files right over the internet that we want. Um, and that works very similarly. It's You basically submit a, a retrieval request and that will set out on the internet. The minute there's a internet connection, those um, actions will go live. And uh, those files will be pulled back to the server where they can be re-downloaded onto another computer or to the same computer when you uh, receive it back. Now, any smart thief, as soon as they see that something's going on with their computer, they're going to shut it down, pull the hard drive, whatever. What have you guys done to make sure that I can actually delete my files or get them back? As soon as they see that someone's, you know, deleting files on the machine, they're going to shut it down. They're going to pull the hard drive. They're going to do something to, to stop that activity. What have you guys done to make sure that uh, you don't run into that kind of problem? Well, the software itself is totally invisible, so the thief doesn't ever know that it's even there. Um, and uh, we see evidence of that all the time, simply because the thief will do all kinds of things. They'll uh, IM back and forth with their girlfriend. And all that can be monitored. Um, but it's done in such a format that there's no visible files in the machine. There's nothing in the uh, process list, so there's nothing actually running as far as they're concerned. And everything happens in the background. So as we're deleting or retrieving files, that's just happening in the background. Uh, and there's never a user prompt, so the thief has uh, no reason to suspect anything. Uh, and then uh, the, the next feature is that we continually monitor and record everything that's happening on the laptop. So uh, as they surf the web, as they use certain software applications, we're recording all of that. And usually within 24 to 48 hours, you'll know the thief's name, address, phone number, and then we work with law enforcement to actually recover the physical property. Uh, and more importantly, even if the laptop is sold, which will often happen, somebody may buy it on eBay or something like that and be a completely unsuspecting person in this, 
uh, we can actually have that person's name communicate with them and often get the laptop back in a matter of days or, or less uh, simply because we'll have them FedEx it to us. And we can also allow you to lock everything down. So you could, if you so desired, you know, block access to, for example, Excel. So if you have some, let's say customer records on that laptop and you're concerned about them falling into the wrong hands, you can delete, or you, I'm sorry, you could uh, block access to Excel so that even if the thief tried to access them, it would simply not open. That'll give you enough time to delete everything. And then if you want, uh, once you've gotten the information you needed, you know all the information on the thief, you can turn the computer into a paperweight. You can lock down everything so that they can't really use anything. And uh, that obviously doesn't give them a whole lot of incentive to, to keep the uh, laptop. So that's how that product works. Uh, some of the data that you know companies have on their laptops is critical to the running of their business and if it got into the wrong hands it could be extremely expensive uh, from you know a loss of credibility standpoint and all of that um, what do you guys do from a deletion standpoint to make sure that even post deletion it, it can't be recovered well a couple of things first of all what we'll do is when we delete a file we'll actually give you confirmation of deletion which is important because if you don't have that confirmation you actually have to make an announcement and you can get fined etc but even beyond that, we delete to a federal Department of Defense standard so that the information that's deleted is completely unrecoverable, no matter what technology they use to try to recover it. So we do a seven times overwrite with random character generation in there so that the information is completely wiped. Um, and we actually have a stamp of approval from the Department of Defense for that. So if you have a laptop cop on a laptop and you delete files, you can rest assured that they're gone.